So I want to talk to you about um, this loop cloud streaming service thing and this new VST that they've just brought out that drops seamlessly into your door and you can just audition tracks or samples and stuff and then drop it into your door and, and that's it, seamless. And yeah, very good idea, but it's also a very, very sad idea and a very, very sad day. Um, you know, for the likes of Loop Cloud and Splice and everything like that, basically, this is all this is doing is producing lazy producers. All right. If you're making an entire track with something like Splice or Loop Cloud and you want to call and you want to do it for a bit of fun, that's fine. But don't go taking yourself seriously because at the end of the day, if you're producing an entire track with this, there's nothing authentic or original about what you've done. You're just painting by numbers. All right, you're just dragging and dropping shit together, somebody else's music, putting it together and calling it your own. Well, it's not your own, because somebody else has done it. The only thing you're actually doing is composing it together and making an arrangement. So you can call yourself an arranger, but don't call yourself a producer if you want to be taken seriously. Because the loop that you're using, you've got to remember hundreds of thousands of people around the world are probably using that same loop. And although there's four million loops on the site, you know, at the end of the day, you can guarantee that you are not the only one using the loop you've got. If you're a real serious producer, you'll generate your own sounds from your own synths. You will do it through creative synthesis or subtractive synthesis or whatever. Or you'll record a sound and bring it in. Um, if you do happen to use a loop and you like part of that sound, then maybe you'll slice it up and you'll just use one note of it to play your own. Um, if you're using these samples, okay, these things have been compressed to hell. They're clipped to zero. There's nothing more you can do to them. They're perfectly EQ'd and everything. So you're not learning any of those skills at all. You're not compressing, you're not EQing. You may end up learning a bit of a bit about spectral side chain, perhaps, in order to get one frequency out of the other if it's clashing with another. But don't go thinking you're some serious producer because some 14 year old can come home from school and bang a track out in 20 minutes or one with this. It's 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 a sad day as far as I'm concerned. And I've got Loop Cloud and I use it occasionally. Maybe if I'm a bit lazy, I want to find a hi-hat loop or maybe I will want to find a sound effect or something like that. Sometimes I'll find some synth loops and I think, oh, great. But if I use it, I chop it all up. It is not the same loop. I'm just using the sound um, and it does make a bit of laziness. But the tracks I make take me weeks. One track takes me weeks and I am obsessing with it over the EQing, the compression, the spectral side chaining, making sure the kick and the bass have got their own space and all this kind of stuff. I suppose you can still apply that sort of skill even if you've downloaded an entire track just with loops. But at the end of the day, you ain't a serious producer if you're doing this. You're just not. If you're doing it for fun, that's fine. Um, and it open. I mean, basically, you know, when the USB thing came out for DJs, the whole world can now be a DJ. You can teach a monkey to DJ in 10 minutes, right? Simple as that. All right. You can't perhaps get the entire feel of what it's like to work with a crowd and all that. But nonetheless, you learn the basics in 10 minutes flat. And the same thing here now is with producing. This system will allow the entire world to become a music producer. And you're not a producer. You're not you're not you're not playing anything. You're not producing anything. You're not coming up with any original ideas. And there's nothing authentic about the piece of music you have just made. It won't be your sound because you haven't generated the sounds. You won't have your own stamp on it. It won't be your brand. It won't be your image. So, you know, if you're happy to fuck about and just have a bit of fun, yeah, great. But don't go thinking you're going to get taken seriously anywhere in the industry because people will be able to tell whether you're using a loop or not. Um, and if you are going to use a loop, then do something creative with it chop it up, put some rhythm behind it, put some filter shape on it, do something, play with, play around with LFOs, side chain it to something else, do something with it um, to make sure that it's definitely your own. But there is no substitute for creating your own sound. None. And this, as far as I'm concerned, this fucking VST loop cloud thing now, um, you know, plug-in boutique are raving about it. Lots of other people can be raving about it. It's just a cheap way of producing. You're cheating yourself. All right, you really are. If you, haven't, if you can't sit down and spend 
Well, basically, to be, to be a good music producer takes years. It doesn't take days or weeks or months. It takes fucking years. Years. So I spent fucking years doing it, learning how to EQ and compress properly, how to spectrally side channel, how to make sure things are in the right mix properly, how to, do, how to generate my own sounds, how to, and, I've, and, I've, and I've generated my own sound. Anyway, that's my harp. That's my um, shout and opinion on it. I don't. I think it's a sad day. Um, you know. All right, if you want some fun, yeah, fine. Slap something together, but you know, don't go telling yourself you're a serious producer because you're not. You simply ain't. No way. That's it. See ya.